Hi, beautiful. Today's video is gonna be just a little bit different. I signed up for this crazy YouTube social experiment. I don't know when, I don't know where, but sometime this week, bam, they're gonna surprise me when I least expect it. Brad, you have been ambushed. Oh, no. Today we'll be throwing the biggest dinner party ever for animals in this restaurant. Why does this keep getting weirder? This is gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun, right? All right, here we go. I'm about to be ambushed. They have amazing food here. They have so many vegan things. Okay, so what they said was they would love for you to wear the Vitali jewelry or like something bold and edgy jewelry style. They know that you're gonna be blonde. Colors. Oh, I've had a lot of hair colors. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this guy. Why is everybody leaving? Why are we moving? What is going on here? I'm looking around and I notice there's somebody else in this restaurant. Oh my God. Is that Lizzie Capri? And I realize it's Lizzie Capri. I've seen her videos on YouTube. What's up guys, it's me, Lizzie Capri. I am also being ambushed, so at the end of Brad's video, head on over to my channel to check out my ambush journey. That jacket is Lizzie, Brad, I'm Chef Nick DiGiovanni, and you have been ambushed. Oh. Out comes Nick DiGiovanni. Nick is a really talented chef. And that right there is it. This is one of those foods in life that is well worth it. Nick is kind of dreamy. He's kind of cute. <laughs> Layla and Denise, you are free to go. They're in good hands, I promise. <laughs> Why is her cameras popping out of everywhere? Hi. Hey, Lizzie, great to meet you. How you guys feeling? Nervous. I was a little iffy. I was like, why? There were some people looking at me. Something I was, was like, off. Hmm. Yeah, like, I was what? like, what? Oh, should I was like, should we leave? <laughs> like, is there like You both knew that you could be ambushed at any moment, right? You know, I knew that was something was gonna happen, but I didn't know when or where. This is not your regular collab, this is a competition. Oh. Great. I'm very competitive. <laughs> you better watch out. I'm gonna go balls to the wall and kick ass today. I am gonna be putting you through a culinary boot camp. Ooh. Are you yeah. gonna cook it? Yes. I'm not good at all. I'm not good. I'm trying to get into Lizzie's head. This is a competition. I'm winning. I'm doing it. That is the plan for the rest of the day. Unfortunately, though, the loser is gonna have a punishment. Ooh. Yeah. Sorry, Lizzie. It's gonna be you. <laughs> I want a chef hat. I'm not doing it unless there's a chef hat. I've got a couple <laughs> aprons for you, but you gotta earn the coat. Uh, Damn it. You ready for the kitchen? I'm ready. Let's, Let's go. Do it. Let's okay. go. Follow me Woo. in. Take a look at what's under the domes right in front of you. <gasps> this is the cutest thing ever. Today, I'm gonna be teaching you how to make pesto pancakes. We are gonna be making it uh -oh. for this little guy right here. This is my hamster pesto. Oh my gosh, yeah. hi pesto. As you've probably already noticed, we can go in here, light the stove, put a single drop or two of oil in the pan. We're gonna take our pancake batter with our dropper. The secret is go right up over the top and just drop right in the center. Whoa. And now we wait. I'm just gonna come over and very, very carefully flip. Ooh. Boom. I am about to give this hamster the best food in its entire life. Meat pesto. Oh my goodness. I've never seen such a little thing. We're getting the energy going. We're flowing and I can feel it. And it wants a really good pancake that is not too burnt. You ready? Start the clog. Mix the batter. A little bit okay. of good. A little bit of flour. What are you doing over here? <laughs> this yeah. is perfect. Dropper. That's beautiful. Brad, Thank you me. killed that. Ooh. Ooh. Cool. Nice flip. Burn. I'm gonna have you put down each of your pancakes and whichever one pesto eats first or eats the most of wins. Let's go. Really? Come here, buddy. Come here. Oh, Come look here. how cute you yes. are. Yes. Yeah, yeah, this way. This oh. way. Pesto, oh. pesto. Oh. Get over oh. here. See this? Yeah. See how good this looks? Oh, oh. wait, there he goes. No, no, no. no. He likes Lizzie's burned pancakes. I think that's cheating. It looks like Lizzie is the winner. Yay. 
I'm so disappointed. I thought Pezzo and I were bonding, but no. Lizzie won. I have to really pick it up for the next one. It's time for something big. How big? What are we about to do? You remember earlier how everyone got up and just randomly suddenly left the restaurant? Where are we going with this? Well, now it is a full house out there and you guys have to make dinner for them. No! Hello! Oh! Welcome Gosh, to your guests. Is that a giraffe? Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> are these real? Is that a camel? Why does this keep getting weirder? Oh my god. This is the weirdest shit I've ever seen in my life. And I love it. There is a beautiful zebra, a camel, there's a chicken, a llama, and an alpaca, a unicorn. Oh my god, what is that? Are you? So I've only really seen a unicorn in my dreams. And now that I'm seeing one in real life, I feel like it was meant to be. You guys have both heard of the term farm to table. Yes. Today we're doing table to farm. That's the giraffe. Don't mind the giraffe. Oh. Today we'll be throwing the biggest dinner party ever for animals in this restaurant. Actually, I should rephrase, you'll be throwing the biggest dinner party ever. Let's do it. Let's go. I'm ready for this. I'm so ready? Excited. Let's go. Ooh. I got you. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> Every single dish I bring out today is going to be ramondified, obviously. <laughs> this is gonna be intense. I vibe with animals, and I'm really just gonna work my hairstylist magic. Let's dissect this thing. So what I'm gonna do is section out like a little triangle. I'm starting to see the vision come alive. And I'm gonna make pretty good food. We're grabbing the big boy tools now. You trust Lizzie with this? First up, it's a sushi dinner date between a llama and an alpaca. Lizzie, you are working on this. Brad, you are gonna be having to work on an apple crumble for the cow. Ready to rock and roll? Yes. Let's go. Brad, can you go get the apples out of the walk-in? Yes, sir. <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna beat Brad. He thinks he's so cool because of his apple cutting skills. Look, I'm not even looking. All right, all right, all right. These are exotic animals. They're not gonna eat just anything. They're a lot more picky than you and I think. Brad, yeah. this is the bowl. I put the apples onto the plate, mm. put those crumbs all over it. Mm, it looks so delicious. Pop that right in the oven. All right, sushi for the alpaca. Why don't we go like this? What do you think? This looks awful, by the way. Did you see the apple? Hey, hey, what are you doing? Uh -oh. Brad, how's that look? I'm pretty impressed. Even though it was an easier dish, it's still looking beautiful. I'm gonna win this okay. one. Okay, let's bring it out like this. You ready? I have something for you, friend. What do I even do here? Hold it like up to its face? Am I put it on the ground? Very good. This cow has four stomachs. It's gonna eat my apple crisp. It better. This is so weird. You got this. Eat it. I made it with love. Oh, he likes that. Okay. Well, we're going to town now. The cow is loving my apple crisp. I'm kind of an animal whisperer. I've never seen a llama eat a sushi. Oh my gosh, look at him eat. Move, the winner's here. Move, move. Uh, you're in Guys, my way. On, She's in my that. way. She, Lizzie, you gotta make the zoodles for the donkey. Brad, hey, you're bro. cooking for the unicorn. Fancy fruit the salad. Unicorn, got, got it. it. My next task is to make a fruit salad for a unicorn. Let that set in for a second. Pomegranate, mint, apples, and pear. I want to bring that Candyland unicorn feeling, you know, a rainbow of colors, and it's gonna be extra, just like me. Being a hairstylist, we have our clients and we need to tend to their needs. How are we today? Oh, I love your hair, by the way. I love your bangs. So I want to really customize this salad exactly to the unicorn's wants and needs. I am preparing your salad. I am putting peaches, pomegranate, and mint in your salad. Is there anything else? <laughs> Got it. Why don't I, uh, oh, is this your friend? Hi. I am not serving you today, though. I'm sorry. Look at what Brad made over here. It looks so good. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> What if I just, uh, there we go. Wow, okay. Well, we had to wipe off the plate. Lizzie, yeah, but we gotta go fast. You can be redoing dishes. I'll tell him you did that. No. I will get your waiter out for you, okay? When I'm talking to these animals, I'm not getting a lot, but I'm going to definitely slay this salad for a unicorn. The unicorn is gorge, so we'll get along. Goodbye, uni, the unicorn. See you later. Are you touching my salad? I'm helping you. Brad, oh, 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 oh. Wait, we need apples for 
How did you, did you Brad, Brad. Oh my God. <sighs> Let me breathe for a second. My fruit salad has been completely taken apart and put back together by, of course, Lizzie. What happened? It was ruined and I had to fix it. Lizzie dumped your plate. And he was like, oh, dump the plate because I got to oh, wipe the plate. Okay. Okay. I'm not kidding. Okay. You got some roll of tape back. It looks so good. What if I just, uh, there we go. I'll tell him you did that. No. My beautiful, beautiful creation is completely demolished and then put back together in a totally different way. And it's also ugly now, okay? Back off, Lizzie. Do your own plates. I'm mad. We're in a fight. <laughs> Brad, I'm gonna put you on the spaghetti squash, or the chicken, the smoothie bowl for the goat, and the lettuce wrapped veggie burger for the sheep. Oh my God, I'm making a smoothie. <laughs> Press this quinoa into a burger patty. It's gotta be a nice, clean burger patty. Got it. It's so stressed off, but I love it. Oh. I can do this. Go ahead, put this on a tray and toss this in the oven. That looks good. Go grab those dishes. Here you are, your wonderful gourmet meals. This is for you. I handmade it. Bone apple teeth. I don't think he likes the meatballs, but maybe he'll like the zoodles. Fine. Oh my gosh. <laughs> There you go. Hi, Mr. Camel. Ah! And you look like you're about to eat it. Come on. Oh, I need this. The chicken is eating the dish. We got some smoothie bowl action. Yeah. It's so good, isn't it? <laughs> the beautiful unicorn is loving the fruit salad. Brad, the sheep has not touched one Harper. single bite of your, pl your plate. Harper. I just want you to eat the, the burger. burger. Oh. So we're going head to head right now. It is intense. We're both like begging these animals to eat our dishes because this is the moment. This is the make it or break it. And both of us are struggling right now. Like from the last round, I mean, it was looking bad. Cheating. It looks like Lizzie is the winner. It's gonna be all or nothing. Like I need to get this. Who's handling the giraffe? You can do it, Lizzie. All right, that means you're giving this charred carrot salad to the zebra. Probably one of the most technical dishes we're doing yet today in the kitchen. Yeah. This is my last and final chance to win the competition. And I have the hardest dish. No. Okay. We're gonna use the peeler and kind of peel off some of that dirt. Now this. Wow. And just start getting kind of a char there. Were you feeling like a pink moment or like a yellow moment? This is the part that I like. I'm going to make the plating of this thing scrumptious and beautiful. A little color in there. What do you think? Happy with it? Yes, I would eat it. Would the zebra eat it is the question. Here we are. Here's your dish. I'm feeding the zebra and it's not having it. Mm -mm 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 -mm. ZB, I need this to happen. I am relying on you. No, not the fork. The salad. No, not the plate. I'm doomed. ZB, come on. Eat the food. Eat it. <gasps> I think he liked it. That was a sign of approval. The giraffe starts eating Lizzie's food. Why? Why are you eating that? It doesn't even look good. Like, it doesn't. You want a carrot? Come on. This is the moment. This is the make it or break it. And I am just like, oh, like, please make this happen. Easy. There you go, Brad. The zebra is eating the carrot. Yeah. Isn't it good? I put a lot it's of nodding, yes. sweat and tears into that. We have victory. Bum, 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 bum. Yes. This is going to be a very tough decision for me, but before we get to that, I've got a little something for you. I want to take home the crown today. Yes. Please try on your chef oh coats. My gosh. Oh my God, you have both so earned them. I just love winning things. This is our America's Next Top Model. I know. Brad, you lost the first challenge, the mini pancakes. But I thought you did a really good job during the animal dinner party. Oh. Your sense of style as a hairdresser helped a lot with your plating in there. Thank you, I appreciate that. The thing I have to hold against you is that the sheep didn't touch the veggie burger. Yeah. Not even looked at or touched. It hurts, it hurts me. Overall though, great job today. Thank you. Lizzie. I'm scared what he's gonna say about me. <laughs> I thought you worked really, really hard in the kitchen, but there were not one but two dishes that animals didn't eat that you brought out. Donkey is upset about this. Oh my God. Ah! At the same time, you had more dishes sent back than Brad. It's true. So overall, I feel like it's pretty tied in my mind at the end of the day, but there is one deciding factor. 
Okay. For one of you, there were more plates that I had to stop before they went into the kitchen and remake. And that person is Lizzie. No! Brad, that means you're the winner. Yeah! Not only did you get the chef coat, what? but you got the hat. I won. I won. I got something for you too. Oh. It's a hairnet. Oh, I'm gonna need to put this on. You are going to need this for your punishment, Lizzie. Oh, wow, man. Lizzie, it's pretty ugly. <laughs> Aww. Brad, congratulations again. Please Thank say you. goodbye to Lizzie. Bye, Lizzie. Great game, but you know, you didn't quite make it. Lizzie, you're coming with me. Oh man, I gotta hang out with Nick more. I feel magical. I mean, I am feeling on top of the world, baby. I love all you animals so much. I will be sending you some shampoo and whatever else you guys want. Thank you for helping me win today. You're the real ones. I gotta go though. Bye guys. <laughs> to see Lizzie's punishment and the rest of her ambush journey, check out her channel, Lizzie Capri. I want beautiful. I want it. I want. <laughs>